Hello guys, Brad here from The Guided Investor and we are back with another episode of Hot Money Topics. And I thought this month I was gonna have to talk about inflation and interest rates again, but then bam, Omicron hits us, sending share markets into a bit of volatility. Omicron, if you haven't heard about it, is the latest variant of the coronavirus. And we don't know that much about it at this stage, but it does appear highly transmissible and the World Health Organization has labeled it as a high risk due to its unprecedented number of spike mutations. While early information does suggest that Omicron is no more dangerous than other strains like Delta, it does lead to uncertainty and equity markets don't like uncertainty. The ASX finished down over 1% for the month and the S&P 500 finished down roughly 0.5% for the month. It was interesting to see the rotation of stocks. So people tended to sell out of those companies that are heavily impacted by lockdowns. So think airlines and physical shopping centers. And there was a rotation back into those stocks that done well when the lockdowns were happening. So a lot of those big tech companies. However, what is probably more concerning to equity markets at the moment than Omicron is Jerome Powell changing his rhetoric around inflation last Wednesday. He indicated that it's time to start winding back monetary policy a few months earlier than expected due to inflation proving more persistent than forecasts. This caused US investors to sell out a shorter duration bonds, pushing the yield curve to its flattest level since January. Our general thoughts on inflation and interest rates at the moment is that we do expect interest rates to start rising and that's okay. We expect central banks to increase the rate of tapering on their bond buying purchases and we expect the interest rate to slowly creep up. Now, I think we're still some time off, some time away from when the risk return trade off between equities and defensives like cash and bonds is going to start to switch. So I think that this whole thing is going to happen gradually. But of course, it's prudent to tweak your portfolio for the opposite of that happening as well. In that situation, the inflation genie would get out of the bottle quicker than expected and interest rates would skyrocket up. Now that's the case where there'll be a fast and sharp switch out of equities into defensives. So you have to be mindful of that as well, but we do see that as a less likely scenario. Last month, CBA and ANZ also released their predictions on house prices for the next two years. Next year in 2022, it's estimated that prices in capital cities will still rise across all states and territories. ANZ have estimated an average of 6% rise across the board and CBA is slightly more bullish than that at roughly 7% across the board. In 2023, both ANZ and CBA are predicting that house prices will start to fall. ANZ is estimating an average decline of 4% across the major capital cities, and CBA is significantly more bearish than that at a 10% decline. Now, I won't go into that in any more detail because I did a whole video talking about it. And if you're interested in watching that video, I'll link it in the description box below. But high level, I do think that these estimates are reasonable given what we know today. Another article that I found very interesting this month was about Australians hoarding cash. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't currently hold any cash in my wallet and it's been that case for a while, pretty much since coronavirus kicked off. However, there are more $100 notes floating around than ever before with up to $75 billion in cash tucked away somewhere. The RBA has said that this is likely due to people's uncertainty about the future and also they're not really getting a return on their money by putting it in the bank at the moment. But I also think it has something to do with avoiding taxes and getting more government benefits like the age pension. But that's it for me today guys and this is my last episode of Hot Money Topics for 2021. I will be coming back with a few more videos and whatnot this year and it's a great time of the year. It's summer, Christmas is around the corner. Everyone seems happier at this time of the year. So I hope you guys are happy too, and I will see you in the next one.